Hello, Brian Owen here, uh, owner at Red Light Therapy, which is Photonic Health. I'm also a mechanical engineer and an applied equine podiatrist. We're here to talk about today about laminitis. We've been getting a lot of calls on this and we've actually had one of our horses excel, go through the laminitis and we've had another horse that was just diagnosed with chronic laminitis and was put down, unfortunately. Um, so I'm gonna talk about what laminitis is and also a little bit about the three stages of laminitis. So first we're gonna take a look at the inside of a foot. And if you can, hopefully you can see this, is when, this is the coffin bone of a horse. This is cut through now, so you're only seeing portion of it. So don't want everybody calling me and say this thing's at too much of an angle, because it's not about that. This is the internal arch. You're looking for the dermis, which is right above the coffin bone right in here. The stratum internal, medium, and external of a foot. When everything is going well, your coffin bone will pretty much line up with your light, white line coming out. So this is a fairly healthy foot, has sole underneath, and has a dermis line and a, and a line that matches the front of the hoof, matches that of the coffin bone, if you can see that. Now on this other side, we're looking at a little bit of a problem horse. So the coffin bone is sitting in here about like so, and you can see that the white line is really non-existent and this is out in front. So what ends up happening, and I want you to very simply think about this, is that the way the blood flows through a foot, and I'll use the better side to show you, is it comes down the back of the foot through what's called the vein apparatus, which is vein, artery, and nerve. When, I'm sorry, on the front of the foot here, when it comes through, there is no valves or capillaries in a foot, so it's all systemic pressure. So it goes through what's called plexuses. So the way it does, it comes through the bottom of the foot and fills the back of the foot first. All right, so when you first hit or make contact, the stages of the foot, it's then gonna help push the blood forward out through the sole of the foot. Once the pressure gets down on the bottom of the foot, it then pushes out to the so it's called circumflex artery area, which is the outside of the foot. When it gets it over to break over, that blood is then now pushed and released because of pressure up the foot through the coronary artery around and then back up to the heart. That's the way it's supposed to run. Anytime you have any kind of an inflammation, you can stop that from happening because hemodynamics is gonna to go to wherever the least amount of pressure is. So what ends up happening when we have laminitis is we get a, a inflammation between the dermis and the white and the inter, stratum internum or white line of the foot and you create pressure. So now the no longer is there a nourishing blood be able to go up through because there's pressure here. And that pressure will cause them to hurt because it's full of nerve endings, all right? So when you look at, so one of the, so one of the things you hear all the time is you hear about coffin bone rotation. When you're in the first stage one and two, you're not into coffin bone rotation. What you're into is you're into where you have a lot of pressure in this area and then the hoof wall is moving out away from the foot, giving it the appearance as though it is rotating. But in reality, it's held on by ligaments in the front of the foot that prevent that, and there's nowhere for the foot to go then, the bone could go, so there's only one thing it can move, and it's that the front of the foot, or the hoof wall, moves out. So I'm gonna put these two together, and you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So you can see, I've got, I've got basically the bones lined up underneath, but you can see how much this hoof wall is sticking out compared to the other one. And that's what we're talking about, all right? So think about of it as you hit your finger with an, or hit your thumb with a hammer. What happens? It turns black and blue and it starts to hurt, right? After it's starting to heal a little bit, what happens? The fingernail pulls out. And this area right in here, between the dermis and the wall, is like two pieces of Velcro. They kind of attach to each other, and now they're being ripped apart and you're damaging the hoof wall. 
So it's the same as your fingernail. So as your fingernail starts, you start to lose your fingernail, you'll notice that it lifts from the bottom out to the cuticle. The cuticle is the same thing as the cornet band on the horse. All right, now remember, this whole digit it is the same digit as our middle finger. So this is our coronary band, and this is the hoof wall, and this is what's on the ground. They're just like so, all right? So what ends up happening is we end up ripping from that pressure, that dermis apart, and it can no longer get fresh blood up into there, so it starts to die. So then you get a separation where they call white line disease or so forth, where you have a disconnection between the two. Now the three phases of laminitis is the first phase is what's called acute, where all of a sudden you're sitting there and your horse is lame. That's an acute laminitis and you want to take a look at what just happened. Did we just put them out on grass? Is the grass getting short and they're eating the sugar grass? Did we just get done having farrier work done? Did I change the diet? Did I go for a long ride? Did something just happen pri previous to that? If you're in that stage, please, please, every horse is treatable in the stage acute and the um, second stage of laminitis. The second stage is where now it's been ongoing for a while. You might be going on for a month or two and you just notice that your horse is just very tender footed and it's lame. This is the stage where you did some damage to the front and you actually ripped the dermis. And this is the healing stage. This can take anywhere from three to six months to heal. Again, please don't put your horse down because of this. This is just nothing more than you fixing your fingernail, but they're standing on their fingernail, so you know there's always pain. So there's things you can do. Right lighting, red wraps, shoeing, different things to take them out of pain while they heal. The third stage is the chronic stage. The chron that's what this horse here was in, was in a chronic stage where now it actually detached from the front and we're getting a cough and bone rotation and typically you'll notice that there's always a rise in the coronary band in the quarter here because as this comes around it comes up it's pushing against its foundation which is which is cartilage which is the coronary band and now it's going down and we've got bone rarefication that's going into the foot and you and true founders when it comes through the sole of the foot so those are the three stages of laminitis and remember most of them are treatable most of them are because of inflammation um, i also see a lot coming from farriers that trim too leaving too long of feet and they're always being pressed on the front and that kind of rips that front what's going on um, so we just wanted to let you know a little bit about what laminitis is and our second part here we're going to show you how we take care of it